Let's go ahead and set the colors on the MVX gauges. Push the button while you turn the key on. It's going to put the gauge into setup mode. Pushing the button again gets us to the color menu. If you push and hold the button, it'll step you into the color menu. The first option is to set all the colors. This is going to be the needle, the background, and the LCD all together. You can also go in and set just the backlight if you want. For this demo, we're going to set each color separately. Pushing and holding the button again gets into the deeper menu. Now we can select the color for the background. Once we've got it on the color that we want, we simply push and hold again to confirm that. Now it allows you to set your brightness. You can go from 7, which is the brightest, of course down to 0 for none, and anywhere in between. This really allows you to customize your colors, so if the needle glares a little bit too much, you can certainly just take that down and not the whole gauge. Now let's set the needle color. Push and hold again. Once we find the color that we like here, we simply push and hold to confirm it, and then we'll just confirm the brightness again. We know we want it at 7. Now we can do the display. Push and hold it again to get into the display menu. Now you can select the color for just that portion. Pushing and holding it again confirms it. One more time to confirm the brightness. And now we're done. We've got three separate colors set on our MVX gauges. In the display menu, if you push and hold to step into it, you'll see that you can adjust your contrast. This is going to be used for the LCDs. Everyone's a little bit different as far as their height and the way that they're going to look at the gauge. So we allow you to go in and simply adjust the contrast by pushing and holding the button and it goes up or down based on your riding position, what's going to be best for you. Once you get it where you want it, you simply let go and give it a few seconds. To get out of this menu, you'll simply shut the key off when you want to go back in, you push the button, turn the key back on, and you can go right back to that menu. Once you get into the menu, if you skip past the contrast, you'll also see performance displays. This is going to be your 0 to 60 timers, quarter mile timers, things like that. You can have them on, or you can hide them. Hiding them makes it easier to go through your menus later. You don't have as many button presses. So for this, let's hide them. Push and hold it to confirm it. Now it's going to ask about MBMs. These are the motorcycle bus modules we also make for air pressure, compass module, or boost pressure. If you have them plugged in, they're going to show on the LCD. This will allow you to tell you if they're working or communicating with the gauge properly. After that, of course, we're done. Push and hold it to get out of the menu. And then after that, we can just shut it off. Now let's set the clock on the gauge. You don't have to be in the menu for this, so we're simply going to turn the key on, bring it up to normal operation. Now we push the button until we get to the clock. Once you get to the clock, you simply push and hold the button, and your hours will flash. Set your hours, and then push and hold. You can set the tens, and then now single minutes. Push and hold the button again, and you're done. The clock is set. Couldn't be simpler. Now let's check out a couple of the other menus available. The diagnostic codes are, are very convenient on the newer bikes. You can actually pull your check engine light codes and see what's wrong with your bike without having to take it to the dealer first. Push and hold the button when you get to that menu. It steps you in. You can check your engine codes your security codes, or your ABS codes if equipped. Let's check the engine codes. I expect a no response on this. Yep, that means there's basically no codes or it's not speaking to the ECM. Now let's set the odometer on the gauge. This option is available for the first 100 miles. We'll push the button, turn the key on like normal. Then we're going to go to the speed menu. Push and hold the button again to step into it further. First menu allows you to adjust the speedometer. That would be if you change tire sizes or gearing and the speedometer's off. The unit, of course, is miles per hour or kilometers. You can set it to either one. Then you've got a service miles. You can turn this on and this will actually count backwards and tell you when it's time to change your oil or whatever else you set it up for. The next menu is your odometer preset. So go ahead and push and hold it and this will step us into that menu. 
gonna flash zero. So now you simply set the number that you want. Let's say we've got 110,000 miles. And this is perfect for us. Now we would just push and hold for each digit, leaving the rest of them at zeros. Once you've set all the digits, it's gonna ask if you're correct. If we say no here, this will go back to zeros and it'll give you another opportunity to set the gauge. But if we're correct, you just simply switch it to yes and push and hold it again and you're confirmed. The odometer has now been set. Now let's show you a few of the displays that are under normal operation. By turning the key on, of course, you see your odometer, trip A, trip B. This is an hour meter for the hours the motor's been running. This is a digital speed, a digital kilometers per hour. You've got a high speed recall, the zero to 60 time, quarter mile speed, and quarter mile time. This is a digital RPM. This is your high RPM recall, of course a voltmeter, and then back to the clock, and then of course back to the odometer.